Welcome, today is the day when the Young Bear version 2 is to be made a reality. Yes, so here are the components that we are going to use to assemble this powerful machine. Uh, with me here, I'll start with this one. The motherboard, Arus B450 Pro Wi-Fi. With me here is a data, SU720 SSD SATA. And here, we have the, one of the most powerful CPUs out there. This is AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. It has eight cores and 16 threads. Uh, yes, let me go to this one. This is RTX 2080, the graphics card. Trust me, this is the most powerful following RTX 2080 Ti. After that, this is the most powerful graphics card in the market. Uh, next, uh, I have the, <clears throat> the Fantext Vertical GPU bracket. Because I told you this is one of the most powerful graphics card out there. It requires something to support it within the system. So this is the, it. This is the item. Uh, I'll, I'll avail it because most of the people out there have not seen it yet. Then. Next, we have the fans, the Fantex fans. Uh, they come with RGB lightning to bring out the beauty of the system. Yeah, of the Diang Bear, this is because this is project Diang Bear. Then with me here is BT390 gaming keyboard. One of the best, the, if not the best, let me say one of the best gaming keyboards out there. It comes with the RGB background lighting, you can see. Uh, it also has a mouse there. Uh, it's a nice one, it's, it, it's a nice one. We, we'll see later how it operates and uh, how the beauty, why I say it's one of the best, you'll see the purpose. Then we have the, and here we have the XLR8 gaming RAMs. Uh, each, the two here, each is 16 GB. So in total, the system will have a 32 GB of RAM, which will be later improved and upgraded to 64 or more. And here we have the M.2 2280 NVMe SSD, which is 512 GB in storage. Uh, and here we have the cable modes. These ones are used to bring out or to enhance the beauty uh, of the computer because uh, of the system that is because we don't want to use rugged wires to connect these powerful components of the machine. Then, yes, to my left, we have the Thermal Tech, 850 watts. This is the power supply. Without these, all these are going to be rendered useless. So this is the component that supplies power, regulates power from the socket. It regulates power needed 850 watts uh, to the components of the computer. Then this one is the Master Air MA620P. This is the cooler that is going to cool the CPU, uh, the CPU which we have here. So it requires a very good cooling system uh, with this one from Cooler Master, one of the best out there we have. Uh, then we have the casing. These are Fantex P400A. I bet, or I promise you, it's going to be, it's already unboxed, but you'll see it just in a minute. Because the color, the uniqueness, the stylish, the finish, it's perfect. I'll show you the casing in a minute. Finally, it's that moment we have all been waiting for, the unboxing of Project Diang Bear. So first, I'll begin with the case. Here we have the Fantex P400A. I'll begin with the unboxing because it's the largest component and it is the one that will be containing all these. And we have to be careful because the front facing side is made out of glass. So I'll have to be careful here. Uh, now here's the case. 
I made a promise that it's one of the most stylish casings out there. Now, see for yourself, the Fantex P400A. Yeah, so this is the front facing side. It's made out of tempered glass. Uh, and here we have the front ventilation of the casing. Uh, out there, one of the reasons I'll recommend and why we took this Fantex P400A is because it has the best, absolutely the best cooling system. The ventilation in this system is one that every, comp every computer system requires because down here you can see here allows airflow into the power system. Uh, here's the front facing ventilation system. Then we also have up here that allows air from the system to be ejected out. Then out here we also have a fan. It also comes with its own fan at the rear end that will be sucking the hot, or let me say the warm air out of the casing. Then the rear end is a plain white. Mostly this will be facing the wall. So it will be just left that way. That's why it has no designs, just plain white. And I really like the color. White is a perfect color because it shows off the aesthetic value of the system. Then on the top, we have some, we only have one button, which is the power button. Then we have two USB ports uh, and uh, an earphone jack and a microphone jack. So I think that's everything you need to know about the casing. But as I said, this is one of the best casings for a good airflow for a computer system, which is very essential for the perfection or for the system to work in its op optimum level. Yeah, we already unboxed the casing. Now, next we are to unbox the motherboard, the Aorus B450 Wi-Fi Pro. Uh, Yeah, so I'll just walk you quickly through the components of the motherboard. Uh, <clears throat> on the top side, on the top left side, uh, we have the, it will be in a vertical position, so let me just put it like this. Here are the RAM slots, there are four. Uh, it doesn't have a limit, you can put as much as 64 GB of RAM in each. Uh, then we have the CPU holder. Uh, we have the Ryzen 7 which is compatible, so you must also know the compatibility of the motherboard to the CPU. That is one of the things you must check when you are purchasing the two. Then, to my, on my right hand side, we have the, we have the HDMI port, uh, we have the display port, uh, and other ports like the Wi-Fi port, and other, there, there are, the two are... Um, for Wi-Fi and for Bluetooth, then there are some USB 3 because all, all the USB uh, all the USBs here are USB 3.0 uh, because that's the latest version of USB ports that are available at the moment in the market. Then I think that's all. Yeah. Then at the lower end here we have the SSD holder. Yes, where we'll put the SSD. Then the graphics card will be at this point. So we'll see as we go by uh, how we'll come to assemble those parts. Yeah, now after unboxing the motherboard, we have the we have the CPU here, MD Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, as I said earlier, it has 8 cores and 16 thread processor. Uh, in the box, uh, the first thing you'll find is the cooler. It comes with its own cooler, but uh, it's not as efficient as the one that we have here. So we usually, we usually or it's better to opt for uh, a different one that doesn't come with the, with the CPU itself. It's good in RGB lighting, but not as good in cooling. Then we have the CPU here. Uh, I've stated it's specifications 
uh, it has eight cores and 16 threads. Uh, so here's the CPU, I'll unwrap it, then I'll put it, I'll put it on the motherboard. So we have the CPU in, uh, you have to make sure that it's locked in uh, because the CPU is a very sensitive component. So after locking it in in the motherboard, you have to put the thermal paste. Here's an MX4 thermal compound that we'll use. Before I put this one, let me just uh, unbox the cooler because you put the thermal paste first, then you put the cooler on top of it. So as we we already introduced the cooler earlier, this is uh, the Master Air MA620P. Yeah, as you can see, it has two heat sinks as opposed to most of the coolers out there, which only has one heat sink. It has two heat sinks, meaning it's very good, very, very good at cooling. We have mounted the CPU, so I'll just put the thermal paste on, then I'll mount the, the cooler. Now, for the thermal paste, you should not put it in excess. Uh, Yeah, after that, <coughs> now is when you mount the cooler. Uh, there's always a tape that is always, at this point you have to remove it, is when you put the cooler. So, for our case, we'll put the cooler first in this. Uh, so now we put the SSD. It is 2280, so 8 is the length, then 22 is the width. So we have the motherboard in, it has the CPU, the cooler, and the RAMs in. So I'll just tie down the motherboard to the, to, to the casing. I have one screw in just to hold it in place while I put it in the upright position. Yeah, at this point we are halfway through the project, project Biang Bear version 2. So after we have completed the tying down the motherboard, we are going to put in the power system, uh, connect the cables to the cable management behind here, and we are done. So it's about 60% complete. At the very last component, major component of the system is the power supply. So, yes. Okay. So this one contains the cables. Then here is the power <coughs> power supply. So I'll put it into its slots. Then I'll connect the power cables. From here. Yes, now project Biang Bear version 2 is complete from this to this. Now it's the moment of truth in about a minute. We'll know if all we have done was worth it. For now, let me avail to you Biang Bear version 2. <laughs>